Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio here, back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the redemption codes, about all the new features added in this recent update, and also at the end, I'll be showing you what you get from a level 12 plantation store. So, let's get started. There are six redemption codes in the game for you to choose from. However, you can only use one code per account, so make sure you pick the one that you want. To use these redemption codes, you need to click on your avatar at the top left of the screen, then go to settings and then select redemption codes. Here are the six redemption codes on the screen along with screenshots of the rewards that you get from them. You can pause the video if you want to write them down. So those are all the redemption codes that you can use in the game. Again, keep in mind that you can only use one, so choose wisely. Also, the event ends on the 18th of April, so make sure you use these codes before that. They've also added a whole bunch of new features in this update. The first thing they've changed is the wealth battle. You can now get points for killing troops in the nightclubs during the wealth battle. The top 5 players with the most kills at the end of the event will receive the massacre title which gives 2% crew defense for anywhere between 3 to 30 days depending upon their rank along with a lot of other rewards. During this event you only get 1 point per kill regardless of the level of troops you kill. They've also now added level 6 storehouses to the storehouse event. They've also added more investments in the crew capabilities section that give a total of 7% more crew attack defense and health, 14,000 more ops capacity, and 20% more training speed and crime ops speed. They've also added a new Mr. Rabbit avatar that you can get from the Mr. Rabbit event which is probably going to start soon because there's no such event going on right now. And they've also added the autoplay feature for the Lucky Poker at SVIP 5 which automatically flips the first card and continues spinning the wheel. I wouldn't recommend using this feature because it'll skip the ones that give you 10,000 gold as well. They've also added two new decorations. They've added the Panda Forest Lodge Turf decoration that gives you 10% bulker attack and 5% crew attack when maxed out, and the Centaur Archer Ops effect that doesn't give any buffs. They've also added a lot of Godfather Monument achievements, the Jungle Ruins Turf Decoration achievement that gives 3% bulker and shooter attack, the Fusion Samurai's Crime Ops achievement that gives 5% crew attack and defense, the New Year's Name Tag, Avatar, and Chat Bubble achievements that give 2% biker and shooter defense each, the Deadly Rhythm Turf Effect achievement that gives 2% biker and vehicle attack, the Legend of Legends Flak Column achievement that gives 2% biker and shooter defense, and the Mystical Fortunes column achievement that gives 2% bulker and shooter health. So those were all the new features added in this recent update. And finally, shout out to MC Brutal from City388 for unlocking the level 11 plantation store. So now we finally know what a level 12 plantation store gives you. It gives you up to 500 latent energy, 1 golden emblem chest, and up to 300 SVIP points per day. You can also get 4% more crew attack from the exclusive boost section. So that was the level 12 plantation store. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.